Welcome back to The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. Once again, we return to this place here where I'm pretty sure you're supposed to go there. But, before I do that, let's continue on and see what's up here. And I also want to go back to the crime scene and see if I can maybe reconstruct it now. Oh wow, look at that. That building is huge. And very pretty. I think it says a lot that normally I like to sprint around in games just to get somewhere faster. But here I find myself often not really wanting to. I want to take everything in slowly. You know, I don't want to sprint past this stuff. I just want to stare at it for a really long time because it's just so beautiful. I probably can't go down here, can I? Nope. Alright, let's see if there's anything back here. If there isn't, then I'm going to start heading back to the crime scene. Let's go back to the crime scene. In this case, I will actually sprint. So I'll get some nice camera pans going on here. Actually, did I go over here? I think I did. Yeah, I did. I think there's one place in the forest back here that I forgot to look at. It might be up here. Any place that the sun comes through the trees, it just feels like it's cutting the gloom. Because this place is very gloomy and very depressing. But wherever the sun hits, it just feels different. Like there's a bit of the outside world that's cutting through the darkness. All right, this is where I found the note. So I'm sure I've been everywhere around here since this is around where I ran. Yeah, I don't think I actually missed anything. 
This is the whole area where I chased the man from space. Oh yeah, I remember that. Incredible view. If I hang a right here, I should... It should take me back to the uh, place where the body was. already done that. So, I mean, what could I do with the new objects that I found? I'm gonna try to examine him again. Doesn't seem any different from before. So I guess I just need to keep doing stuff until I can come back here. I suppose so. Like, maybe I need to find a new gas can and go power the thing up and then, like, bring it back here to reassemble the crime scene. I feel like I have most of the objects, though. I don't know. Well, anyway, I'm going to continue on back where I was when I started, and I'll be right back. And we are back here. Let's continue along the dam. There's even... Little puddles of water on the ground. Bits that are wet. The attention to detail really is extraordinary. As depressing a place as this is apparently to live in, it actually got some really... It's actually a really beautiful place. building looks so precarious up there. Like, it's just about to fall off. It doesn't even look level. Oh my god, the attention to detail, look at that. Turns into a dirt road. But all the mud from the dirt road tracks onto the, the stone here a little bit and then dissipates. Well, it's 
check out this building, I suppose. Yeah, this thing is not level. Not at all. I'm assuming there's nobody actually living here. This place is a ghost town. No welcome map message. This interior! Oh! It's beautiful! Even that pile of bricks is the most damn beautiful thing I think I've ever seen in my life. This looks damn near post apocalyptic. I invoke the Boneless One, the One of Voids, destroyer of ships, and he who is feared by the winds. Hear me. Great Minister Focaller, I wish to make a pact with you to confound my enemies and protect my possessions. Use the doors of confusion to cloud their judgment. Seal the path with falsity and guile, and permit only those who can discern every true interior to pass. Aglin, Tetragram, Wait, what the hell? Eh. Uh. Well, that last part is definitely not in English. Tetragrammatron. What is that? I almost want to say it's Latin, but I don't know if it actually is. Adoro et te invoco. Hmm. Well, whatever it is, I can't read it. It's a very fancy and strange message. I'm assuming it's not serious, right? I mean, the boneless one? The one of voids, destroyer of ships? Use the doors of confusion to cloud their judgment? Permit only those who can discern every true interior to pass. Whoa. Okay, I'm assuming that's from Ethan, right? So this is another one of his stories. If that was written by him, though, then he's got some really fancy handwriting. Because that is ridiculously fancy handwriting. Well, this is something. Before I go there, though, let's see what's over here. Hopefully these stairs don't break out from under me. I don't think this place is very safe. Cement. All right, Let's see what's in here. That just teleported me, didn't it? Can I go back? Whoa. Wait, where the hell am I now? Holy crap. Press A to swap. Is that not what happens when I just walk through it? Oh. Interesting.
What the hell? Okay, I don't think it's supposed to look like that. <laughs> That's back to the entrance. Hey, where did this portal go? There was one here. I hope the one upstairs didn't disappear. Uh... Is it gone? But I didn't even get to explore the places. Maybe I have to read the note again? There we go. Right, so I have to visit every single room, right? Only those who can... Only those who can discern every true interior can pass. Pass what? I don't know. Alright, so that one cannot be swapped. Let me see if that takes me to the same place that this one does. Yeah, they both do. Take me to the same place. Alright, so I have to find the right combination, I guess, to visit every single room before I get kicked out. I do wonder if there's anything to find around here, though, aside from... I mean, obviously something's gonna happen if I complete this correctly, but... Are there any notes to find while I'm here, in these various rooms? Seems bright and cheerful outside. piano and that music is so cool. So, three different places. Oh, so if I go there, it just, like, opens the door, right? Oh, wait, what? I think I messed it up. Yeah, I messed it up. Damn. I'm still not quite sure what's going on, to be honest. But I really want to get this. Uh, wait, what? Whoa, what? The fuck? What just happened? Where am I? Uh... Huh? me to a nearby building. That was weird. There's that symbol again. I saw that in one of the other rooms.
Oh no, I think that means I messed up. Yeah, this music almost sounds kind of jazzy. I think it's the piano. And the bass. Yeah, apparently I messed up. Still don't really know how this is supposed to work. I think this is the other building, isn't it? I think this is the other building. Maybe not. Do all the portals lead to the other building? Okay, that... I think that sound in the redness just indicated that I messed up. Or not. I'm trying to figure out how this is supposed to work and I really don't get it. Like, am I supposed to match it so that this is the right one? Like, the one that actually is, you know, the, the room that is supposed to be through this doorway? So I'm trying to find the right room? Is that what I'm doing? Well, now it seems like I fucked up. Let's see if there's any more tips here. Doors of confusion. Well, I'm certainly confused. Oh, but Aglon Tetragram Weichon Stimulamaton is Ferris. Now it all makes sense. I get it. I get it now. Right, you go through here, so I guess I'm just supposed to swap this till this is the, the right one. So obviously that's the wrong one. That doesn't make any sense. In fact, do any of these make any sense? Eh. Uh, it's going backwards. Okay, apparently that was the right one. This is going to be really hard to remember. Does that... I... I don't know. Well, that can't be right, right? No, because that's... that's this room. Yeah, so obviously that's not the right one, because that's actually... that's this. So that's the portal looking through here. So just to confirm, since this is the wrong one, this is gonna mess it up, right? Let's do it. Right? No, it didn't mess it up? Maybe you get a certain amount of... wrong ones before it takes you back? So do it again. Yeah, okay, you get a certain amount of tries. Alright, I think I'm figuring it out. So this is this one. Yes. Mmm, that's not the right one. But I get a certain amount of tries, so it's fine anyway. Jules Verne. From the Earth to the Moon. Treasure Island. A Connecticut Yankee in King Arthur's Court by Mark Twain. These are a bunch of classics. I haven't read a single one of them, but I can recognize their classics. All right, let's try to get the rest. Hmm. Well, obviously there's no more house to the left here, so something that opens up to the left doesn't make any damn sense. So, it's gotta be this. Right? Yes. That makes sense. Once again, the house doesn't open up to the left, so... 
That looks correct. That can't be correct. That can't be correct. It's gotta be this one. Yep. Cool, cool. Alright. Everything's falling into place. Hmm. Looks like on this floor, there's nothing more to the left. But that can't be correct. That can't be correct. This one has to be correct. Okay. The ones that aren't at the edge are gonna be hard. So, yeah, I've completed this. Yeah, it's pretty easy. Just look for the ones that make sense. And, well, yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, there's a bunch more, though. Okay, this one's at the side of the house, so this one can't go to the left anymore. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. That makes sense. That also kind of makes sense. Hmm. Have I... But is that somewhere I've been before? I can't remember. I'm gonna try it. Okay, so that was the right one. Alright, alright. I think if I mess up once, because I've already gotten one wrong, I think if I mess up one more time, I'm screwed. I think I'm pretty far in. This is a really cool little puzzle. I like it. Alright. Oh man, I've still got so many left. Fuck. Hmm. Didn't I already go in here? I think I already went in here. I feel like that makes sense. Yeah, okay. That's the right one. It's so dark and gloomy in here. Almost wish I had a flashlight. I can barely see a damn thing. Where's my amnesia torch? And yes, you pronounce it amnesia. Alright, that's definitely not the right one. Is it? Up and then down? I think I already went in there. Hold on, let me see if I can find it. Because if I already went in there, then... Somewhere I can go should lead to it, right? Let's make sure I don't accidentally go through one of the portals. Yeah, I've already been in here. Yeah, so it certainly cannot be this. Oh shit, where even... Where even was I? Here. Yeah, yeah. So it's not that. Well, this is the edge of the house, so whatever's here can't go too far to the right. Yeah, that can't be it. That can't be it. Which, actually, I suppose means it has to be this one. No! Fuck! Wait, but it couldn't have been the other ones. That don't make no sense. Alright, it's okay. Got most of them down at this point. The, uh, the next floor up, the outer ones are easy. So, yeah, that's... This is correct. This is correct. Yeah. This is the one I messed up, right? Yeah, so it can't be... Well... You know, actually, wait, it could be that one. If you look at where the right side of the room is compared to where the right side of... The houses, that makes sense, actually. I think it's this one. Yeah, it is. Alright, alright. Things are falling into place, yep. That's all done. Gonna leave the easy stuff for last. That's obviously not it. Is this one? I think I've got it, actually. Yes, yeah, so this whole floor is done. Hmm, I don't know if I did that one. But I know I did these. Yeah, that makes no sense. That's gotta be the one, right? Yeah. Yeah. 
So yeah, I think when you get like a little red tinge on your screen and it makes kind of a bad noise, that means you messed up. Yep, there we go. Went all the way around. Mm, oh, oh shit, I didn't mean to go through that. No, it's okay. It's okay, I get one mess up. It's fine. Hmm. Well, more stairs doesn't make any sense. Uh... Is it this one? Yeah. Oh god, there's so many! Well, it's just the same damn hallway, so it can't be that one. I'm guessing it's probably this one? Yeah. Alright. Mm, no, I already went in there, didn't I? Yeah. Plausible. I'm thinking that one. That's not this room, is it? No. Yep. Wait. Was that right? Whoa! I think I finished it. What the hell is that? Yeah, I, I think I finished it. Ho ho ho! Holy crap! It's a mad scientist's lair. Which can only be accessed through the portals of confusion. All these strange diagrams. What the hell is this? The different parts of the body? The victory part, the mercy part, the severity part, the glory part? What? I don't know, it's probably some ancient medicine thing. Like, biles. I don't even know what the hell's going on in that picture. Or, drawing. So good looking. Dead crows? Oh, you can even see liquid going through that. Look at that. Oh, you can hear it too. Distilling concoctions or something. Ugh. A magician once lived inside an old house and made potions that let him see the future. People from the village came to the magician's house and demanded he share his potions with them. We want to see the future too, they told him. But the magician said no. The people from the village grew angry and burned the magician's house. But the magician knew this would happen. He had already cast a spell on his potion room. The house burned, but the room did not. The people from the valley waited, but the magician never came out. Oh, there's an image on the back. It's an endless hallway. Why are you standing there? You spying? No. No, huh? What the hell's wrong with you exactly? Nothing. You need to stop leaving your stupid stories around. They're freaking everyone out. Oh, and here's what the room actually was. Instead of distilling magic potions, this is apparently a distillery for... alcohol of some sort. Moonshine, I guess? Yep. Blaze reveals Moonshine Operation. By Daniel Josephson. Bayfield County. Ashland Township volunteer firefighters discovered an apparent moonshine still while battling a blaze in the woods off Old Ogden Road. According to the authorities, the still, 
The still comprised a propane stove and four-gallon stainless steel pot, which was used to hold the whiskey mash. Based on the size of the still, Bayfield County Sheriff Hank Schaffel believes it may be part of a small operation, though he admitted there could be other stills in the county. Officers on the scene recovered a half gallon of apple pie moonshine and one gallon of unflavored moonshine. Apple cider and cinnamon sticks were found adjacent to the still. The police have been unable to determine who owns the still. Oh, story about NASA. NASA launches ATS-6 satellite by the Associated Press. Cape Canaveral, Florida. NASA launched what has been called the world's first educational satellite in Florida today, giving the United States a powerful edge in telecommunication technology. The Applications Technology Satellite 6 will directly broadcast educational programming to several countries, including the United States, Canada, India, and Australia. NASA believes the satellite will remain in constant contact with Earth for at least the next five years. I'm assuming this is something that actually happened, right? And I just realized I don't actually know what year this game is set in. I'm actually going to write this down and look this up. So it's the NASA ATS-6 satellite. Is there a date on any of this stuff? No. A beautiful door opening noise. go. The occult note is gone. Wow, I just essentially spent a half hour moving around this one house here. And it was incredibly awesome. That was really cool. Although I do wonder, how did I end up over there? That one time where I teleported over to that building there. How the hell did that happen? Was that a bug or or what? It just seemed weird. Also, I do feel like I should have solved what happened with that crime back there. I mean, I'm getting so far away from it. Am I really supposed to get this far away and then, what, like, bring something back? I mean, there's no... Like, I've got a bunch of stuff in my inventory, right? That I picked up. Like the crank. Oh, you know what? Well, I just realized I'm probably supposed to use the crank on the damn rail car. Yeah! Okay, hold on. I need to go try that. I was going to end the episode, but I need to try that first. I'll be right back. Okay, let's go try this. I think this is going to work. No? I mean, I have the crank, right? Like, as far as I know... Wait, does that mean I don't have it? Uh. I mean, there's no inventory system that I can check, right? No, I don't believe so. I mean, obviously, if I'm going to reconstruct the crime scene, then I need to move the rail car, but... I don't actually know how a rail car operates. Like, what does the crank even do? Does that start the engine? Does it is, it, is that just a way of hand moving it without actually starting the engine? I, I have no idea how a rail car works. And the reason I never thought to actually use the crank was because it's basically a piece of evidence. I mean, it's covered in blood, so I never really thought about using it as a tool. Wait, what the hell? I took this, right? I mean, when I loaded my save game, I had regressed a little bit. It took me back to that shack where I read the note about the whole space adventure. But I took it long before the space adventure, right? Or did I just maybe accidentally not take it? 
I don't even know. I am very confused. I did notice when I came back here that all the inspect this and inspect that things were untouched. Right? Like I had to inspect the bodies again. The bodies. The body again. And inspect this stuff again. Yeah, it still wants me to inspect it. As if I've never done it. What the hell? It seems like it didn't save my progress properly. Okay, now let's try this. Yeah. Alright, so yeah, what what does this actually do? Okay, it does start the engine. Alright. Well, let's move this baby into place. Uh, it's so cool. Can I control the speed? Mm, nope. So they're all or nothing. Alright, so I need to put this back in place. So let's get it on the dry patch. Should be right about here. Ooh, that was a good sound, I think. Mmm. Needs to be forwards a little bit, I think. Yeah, about ten feet. <laughs> Still not quite enough. How's that? That's damn close. I suppose it could be moved forward another foot. I'm not sure what that sound means. I don't know if that means it's good or bad or... It's good enough for me. Yeah, you're not going to get any better than that. Okay, can I... I mean... What do I do now? I'm a little bit confused because, again, there's no inventory system. I mean, you do hold stuff in your inventory, obviously, but I can't see it, as far as I can tell. I don't know, mashing the controls. No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, well, if that stuff... Like, if all this stuff is reset, then I suppose the rock is probably still here, right? Yeah, what the hell? Alright, let's take that back. Well, now I'm just paranoid, like... Is this game even saving properly at all? A little bit more. It's definitely a bigger rift than there was before. Alright, so I suppose we go put the rock back into its place, right? Or not? Oh, there we go. Okay. Nice. Is that enough?
the crank tool thing that he hit him with. Is that Ethan? God, there's a kid here during all of this? And who are you? Is that Ethan's grandfather? Um, Ed, or whatever his name was? I think it was Ed. It's the guy who got his legs knocked off. Actually, isn't... Wait, is that the guy that got his legs cut off? Because he actually looks kind of like a kid, almost. I mean, look at his face. He only looks like, what, 16? Maybe 18? Yep, went to get a rock. Now, if I remember right from the gameplay demonstration I saw, I think I need to put these events in order. Alright, he was on the track. It's like holding his head as if... As if what? I don't know. Oh. It was, I'm assuming that's Ethan? That was tied down? Yeah, chronology tag, so I do have to get these in order. Okay. Um, hmm. Let's see. Well, I think this happened first, right? I mean, obviously... I'm just gonna assume this is Ethan. Ethan was over there, untied, so obviously this must have happened before that. So I'm gonna go with this happened first. Oh, I see. And second was... Maybe this? And maybe he went to get a rock? And then... I mean, what happened here? Did he hit him, hit him with a rock and that's why he's kind of like holding his head? He doesn't look bloody though. And obviously that one and then this one happened. Okay, Let's see if that's right. Listen to me. We can destroy it. I know how. You can't destroy it, Ethan. You can't destroy time. And that's what he is. He is forever. Travis, tell me where Ethan is. Oh. Yep, not right. Travis, tell me where Ethan is. He didn't know where Ethan was. So this happened first? Or wait, no, I think this one can't be changed, right? Because this one is correct. The very fact that it plays means it's it's correct, right? Yeah. So that's not what happened next. Travis, tell me where Ethan is. Well, obviously if he's asking about Ethan, then all of this stuff happened after. Okay, Travis, tell me where Ethan is. Ah-ha-ha! He's already got the stone in his hand. 
I just noted, I, I realized his hand was kind of behind him, you know? And I realized what he's asking, like, Travis, tell me where Ethan is. Sounds a little bit like... It's got kind of a threat behind it, you know? So this one's four, that one's three. Okay, let's try this. Listen to me. We can... Next scene. No. This one's number four. Yeah, this should be correct. Listen to me. Yep, here we go. Gail, honey, I wish there was another way. Travis, tell me where Ethan is now. I'm giving the sleeper what he wants, what all of us want. Look, old man, you need to go home. <gasps> God damn it. Go! Get out of here! Travis, close your eyes. Jesus Christ. Where's that going? It's like his soul has moved or something. I don't understand, though. Why did he run Travis over? What was the point of that? If he just wanted to kill him, he had a freaking rock. Why didn't he just keep hitting him in, in his head? It would have been a lot less painful of a death than fucking chopping his legs off. Grandpa? Stay away! Ethan, I'm sick too. I can feel the sleeper in my head. Then fight it! I have to destroy the room! Corvus. I'm sorry. Ethan. Oh no. I can't let you do that. He started going after Ethan? Whatever had turned Ethan's family against him, the grandfather was trying to resist. Age helps against those things that feed on hate. Not because of wisdom or experience. Because the old are tired. Their hate is less useful. So something was controlling them, it seems like, right? Like they were infected with something. Not like a literal virus or something of the sort. Not biological, but more ethereal. Something to do with this other world or something that Ethan can access and I can access. Perhaps he opened a portal, and something came back inside. Well, I'm glad I figured that out before I kept going on. In fact, that entire thing actually might be optional. It didn't seem like there's anything stopping me from continuing on. So I'm really gr glad I figured that out. Okay. Well, 
I was going to end the episode 20 minutes ago, but I couldn't leave that unsolved. But now I will actually end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.